Hi guys, Tommy Bolt here, back again with another Leeds United career mode. Um, I can't do anything about the mic at the moment. Um, I know it's a bit crap, I'm sorry, but my other one's broken, so I'm just going to have to deal with it. Um, so yeah, yesterday um, we played West Brom at home, we beat them 1-0 at a very unconvincing win. <laughs> no, we played really well in the first half, should have been 2-0. Then they just dominated the second half with possession, but we held it together and we got a 1-0 win. So that was good. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> we're playing Barnsley away. Now just after the international break and we have got Liam Cooper back and Hernandez is recovering from injury so we can use him but we're just going to just rest him for a little bit. And yeah, that's um, about it for the squad updates. Let's go straight into the first game. So I'm not the simming it anyway. It takes a long while. We've got a press conference to do, so. Guys, we're going to get started with the questions right, okay. any minute now. Um, does the team have quality to get back on track? Um, yeah, of course. Um, do you reckon Barnsley is concerned? Uh, yeah. There's been some top performances recently. Can you keep this up? We can do even better. Hundred percent. Winning the league, I'm promising it. So we've got Barnsley. Um, should be part of a strong squad because we need this is important part of the season where we need a good start. Hopefully we can get a win. It's a nil nil draw with Enketia coming on and getting injured. That's um that's a bit of a blow, not gonna lie. But we'll move forward, we'll go again. Uh, I believe we've got Derby next, I think. Think. Yeah, Derby. One one draw at home this. So I think well, hold on. Yeah, stop it. Let's train players up. There we go. Get Bamford's confidence up. Everyone's got good moral, which is good. Um see your reserves players are happy, which is nice to see. Um, so yeah, everyone seems to be happy at the moment, apart from Harrison and Costa, but they're not complaining, so neither I'm not going to take any further. And Ketia, back from, we're going to do a press conference, why not? Thanks guys, we're going to get started with the question now. Give the depth in squad to keep up the pace. <clears throat> the whole squad needs to play a role, 100%. Are you prepared for the next match? Um, it's like any other match, we just need to go into it. There's been some top performances recently, can your team keep this up? We can do even better, 100%. Right, we've got really good moral. Okay, We're at home as well, so hopefully we can get a win. Hopefully, anyway. 3 1 win, that's massive. Alien, Sanchez and Bamford getting the goals. Tyler Roberts came on for Klitsch. Round three against Sheffield Wednesday. I think I'm gonna put um, a completely different squad out for this one. Gonna bring Pablo back in for his first game back. <coughs> Mesli at on, um, like Dallas, Alioski starting all that. It's on the EFL Cup anyway. So let's put into consideration some players, so. Mesley on. Um, Alioski. Shackleton 100%. Jack Clark. On for Harrison. Because he can play left mid. Um, Hernandez. Let's take a risk. Let's play him. Um, oh, sugar, I've messed up here. No, don't save that. I've. Um, I should have done this one, there we go. Um, so yeah, we're going to go for... Um, I think I'm going to play Dallas and then... Put Alioski on and then... Davis on the bench. I'm going to put Hernandez on the bench. 
Um, I played Burgess. But I'll also drop Phillips for Roberts. It's a risky move playing him in. Wait, can he play centre mid? Yeah, he can. So I'll play Roberts in Cam. Try to get Roberts a goal. Um, <coughs> sorry. Uh, Shognessy for White. And yeah, there we go. I think I'm pretty happy with that squad. Um, yeah. Hope we should get result. Got a lot of youth in there. Which is always good. Hopefully in care to can bang goal. Let's get the confidence up a little bit first. Thank you all for joining us. Let's start taking questions now. When your rival win this round, they have no chance. <laughs> Should your opponent's more be dw dw uh, dwindling? If they're not scared, they should be. There have been some top performances recently. Can you keep this up? We must avoid distractions. Because it's Leeds, anything can happen, okay. we know that. But it's Cremo, so it might be a little bit different. <laughs> so yeah, let's see how the lads get on. Home, 8 o'clock kickoff. Ah, oh, we lose on penalties, that's got in. But, we managed to not concede in the game. But we move forward and put a stronger squad out next time. Sparkles again. So we've got Charlton um, away. <sighs> we are not. So we lost one 0 to these last week, but hopefully we can get a win. Three one. That's a massive win. Sanchez, Harrison, and Roberts getting a goal. I'm happy with that. Big win. Sure. Yeah, that puts us top. Uh, let's see. Emails. Player injured. Jordan Steven. Out of seven days, injured. Yeah, and then these are all just older emails. So we've still got a 19 mil transfer budget if we wanted to spend some money on the squad, but I'm going to try to keep it, keep the squad like the same for this season. So we've got West Brom at home. This We played this last night, we won 1 0. Let's get a win. 2 2 draw. Douglas and Klitsch scoring. Austin off the bench and Burke who came off injured. <coughs> oh well. I, w I think we're unbeaten, aren't we? I think. Yeah, unbeaten. We just keep up this run of form. That's rich. Look at that stoke top of the table. The bottom in at the moment. We've now got Millwall away at the den. It's a good place to go to. <laughs> 1-1 one, one draw, that's not, mm, I'll take it, still unbeaten. Main objective is to try stay unbeaten. Sanchez upgraded, Bamford upgraded, Shackleton the same. So yeah, we've got, um, we've got good depth of players in the squad, we should be okay. This is international break now. It's only two weeks as well now. I think it's a bit less. Yeah, it's two weeks. Birmingham. And then press on the Tuesday. So we play this. So I'm happy with that squad. I might switch the squad around a bit. 3 0 win. That's absolutely massive. So their goalkeeper's called Kim Dong Joon. That's a right name. Uh, but Bamford and Roberts scoring, coming on and scoring too. That's a massive super sub. I'd be happy with that. Right, so Hernandez seems to be unhappy. Let's introduce him back to the bench. I don't know why Roberts is unhappy, he's just... I don't know, that's a, a shocker. I'm going to take Clark off. But... I'm going to start Hernandez because... Just to see if it can help. Um. Yeah, okay, I'm happy with that for now. Everyone's on good form, apart from Roberts, who's not happy for some reason. Hopefully we can make a comment on him. No, there's no press conference. So, Preston away. Um, come on, 
3 2 win, that's absolutely huge. Bamford with 2, Sanchez with another. Sanchez has been one of the top goal scorers this season, I think. Let me have a look. Well, Bamford on 7, Sanchez. Oh no. Is he even. Is that even the list? But Bamford's up there with. Bamford's third with 7 goals, which we like to see. And here we go, Sheffield Wednesday. Let's um, speak to the media. Okay, welcome everyone. We'll be starting with the questions now. Right, Sheffield United away. Um, do you have enough depth in your squad to maintain your momentum? Our momentum isn't dropping. Let's be positive. Uh, will the outcome of the last match affect the strategy for this match? A close call is a learning opportunity. We won that last game. Um, <clears throat> do you hope to bring stability to the team's performance? You'll see what we're made of. There we go, everyone's happy. Hernandez game back in. I think he played last game, I can't remember. So, hopefully Hernandez can bag one in. Yikes, that's our first defeat this season. Alioski came on, got injured, lost 2-0. That's, um, that's a heavy hitter. Let's see how long he's out for. So play a chat. Um, you still have your place in the squad. Brady. Player injured, seven days. I'm still going to take him off. I'm going to start Brady with Ben White because <coughs> we didn't need a bit of that experience. Could have been Costa back on. Davis, welcome back. So yeah, first defeat. I think we're still in top four though. Hopefully. Yeah, we're second still. So QPR at home, I believe. Yes, yeah, home. Who's injured? Oh, Harrison. Yikes. Uh, we can play Costa on... No, you can't. Hernandez plays left mid. Yeah. And then Clark, welcome back. I'm going to leave Alioski out for this game because he looks knackered. <coughs> so, yeah. QPR at home. 3 0 leads. 4 0. <laughs> Close enough. Um, Ailing, Phillips, Klitsch, and Bamford. Yeah, we need to start Bamford more often. I'm disappointed not to play. Keep working hard. Training injury. Jack Harrison. Alright, so Jack Harrison's back. But I'm thinking I'm gonna keep the squad the same just for now. Because we just won 4-0 at home with that squad. Blackburn Roses away. Oh, it's at home. Two home games in a row. Fair enough. November 9th. 4 0 win again. That is massive. Two 4 0 wins in a row. I'm not changing the squad. Um, <coughs> so we've got Douglas injured. That means Alioski on. Davis stays in and I'm gonna I'm actually gonna play Dallas for a bit just because it's a bit of squad rotation bring Harrison back to the bench there we go I'm drinking the said sorry um, I think I'm gonna try finish the season but if it's more than like 20 minutes, I'll, I'll just keep checking every now and then. So by December transfer, I'm going to have a look. So we've got Luton. Oh, Douglas is back. Um, Luton away. It's not very good ground, Luton, if I'm being honest. 
but hopefully 2-1 win Sanchez, Alioski, Phillips, Costa and Klitsch came off must be an issue in the midfield <coughs> I'm going to bring Handers on I'm going to take Costa off for a bit Harrison on everyone's happy there we go Next match is Reading away. <coughs> Have the Dallas um, five one 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 Sanchez with the goal. Costa Douglas on for Phillips and Cooper. Just trying to laz a little bit. There we go. Bamford needs to bag a few. No, my audio stop. Um, no, my screen recording stop. Um, so yeah, like I was saying, Bamford needs to get a few goals in this season. Fingers crossed. Um, he can get top goal scorer, but Stoke are just miles ahead, honestly. Right, so we've got some uh, press to deal with. So let's up the boys right, a guys, bit. We're gonna get started with the questions. Hey, prepare for the next match. We are ready. 100%. Do you have enough depth in your squad to maintain your momentum? Our momentum isn't dropping, honestly. It's not. We've just had a few off games. Your team has struggled recently. Have you managed to pinpoint the issue? It's me to blame, fair enough. Okay. It's really not, but... Just give the lads what they want to hear. Middlesbrough at home. We're not winning Sanchez, is, honestly. Scoring these important goals. Let's see. Surely he's in the top scorer list now. He's got like six. No, Patrick Bamford is top goal scorer though. Well, tied anyway, but he's at the top. We've got a manager award, manager of the month. So now we've got Town away, I believe. Yeah, away. Media again. Yeah, if you don't want to watch these media bits, you can always just skip it. Do you hope the <coughs> sorry? Do you hope to keep the unbeaten streak going? We're unbeaten for a reason. <laughs> Even, well, we're not unbeaten, but um, here we are. Wait, no, we're not unbeaten. How would you put your previous win into context against Huddersfield Town? The close call motivates us hundred percent. Do you have enough depth in squad to maintain? Oh my god, 100%. We've got so much depth, it's unreal. Right. Right, Huddersfield. Right, this is a massive game, we need to win this. Warm 1. Let me switch the squad up again. I'm going to start Costa and Roberts now. I'm going to take Harrison off because I'm not convinced. I'm going to take Klitsch off. I'm going to bring Aileen back on. There we go. Um, which everyone's happy even if they're not playing. So Hopefully we can carry on winning games. Keep training up the lads. There we go. Good results, Pat and Bamford. Hull City. Oh, I'm happy to click that. Okay, let's have a look at the table. So, Stoke leads Forest, Fulham, Swansea, Middlesbrough in top six. And bottom three, Barnsley, Charlton and Millwall. So that's, that's, that is a realistic table apart from Huddersfield being so high and Middlesbrough but and Stoke obviously but it's looking it's looking good so we're now playing Hull City at the I think it's called the KCOM Stadium or something attend press conference yes please I would love to attend the press conference okay welcome Hell the Costa we'll be starting with questions now yeah you must play to regain sharpness do you have enough depth in squad? Same question. 
Right, there we go. This has to be a win. Make sure ev everyone's very happy. Well, that's what Amaro said. Uh, I'm gonna bring Ben White back because Brad didn't really do much, not gonna lie. I mean, he said he's very happy, but we've been conceding a lot of goals since he's come on. <coughs> and I brought Aileen back. So hopefully, fingers crossed. Three 0 win. There we go. See, Ben White scored. <laughs> what can I say? Douglas scored as well. I'm going to bring him back actually because he's really good with his left foot. And he's happy at the moment as well. So, Right, so we're now playing Cardiff City. Recently re relegated from the Premier League. I've just skipped to press conference, but hey ho. So, this is at home, December 14th. 3 1 win. Yes, Douglas scored again. Bamford scored 2 again. He has to be top goal scorer. Literally. Yeah, 14 goals. He's flying. Um, yeah, I think we'll see how we're doing at the end of this, um, at the end of 2019. Oh, this is a hard game. It's Fulham. I don't know if it's home or away yet. By the looks of it, it's going to be home. Of course, I just guessed. Media is gathering in the press room. Of course they are. Thank you all for joining us. We'll, we'll start Do you help us get close to this hot spot? We'll get there. Is your previous win going to affect the opponent's moral? Moral is a strategic aspect. Do you have enough depth in your squad to maintain your momentum? Moral squad can help us again. There we go. That's a massive boost. Okay. Come on. A massive game. Two one. Come on, Hernandez and Sanchez bagging the goals. They we were two up. So that's a big away win. Absolutely huge. Let's train um train them up. <clears throat> and next game is Preston. Uh, home. home. We still can't shake Stoke. We need to get firm in top of the league. See, I'm going to finish it on transfer when, when the transfer window opens. 4 0 win. Look at that. Roberts with three. Roberts with a hat trick. Sanchez with a, yet another goal. And Ketty is injured again on my days. Birmingham City. Ooh, I'm not sure actually. I'm going to guess. Away here. Yeah. And Ketty is out six weeks, that's a blow. Um Sibiki on. So let's go straight into this game. I don't know why my uh, video keeps cutting. So 2-2 two, two draw. Roberts and Bamford. Roberts again. Oh please don't tell me Bamford's injured. That's two strikers then. Right, so we're going to play this game and we're going to call it. Bamford out five weeks. And then Ketty is out six weeks as well. That is not good. But I've got an idea. Instead of playing that other striker because we need a striker. Right, so Roberts can play up front. That's a fact. Bamford out. Clutch back. And then this is where Jack Clark comes back, I reckon. Yeah. Yeah, right, okay. That's two massive players just gone like that. Oh well. <clears throat> Last game and then we're gonna end the video there. Robert's creeping up. No Bamford's still Bamford up will be top goal scorer this season now. 
So, last game of the video, and then I'll do one on Friday. It's a 2 1 win. Hernandez and Phillips getting the goals. That's a massive game, honestly. So, <clears throat> thanks for watching again. I, the support in the last video was really good. I really appreciate it. Make sure to like and subscribe if you are new. And I'll see you in the next one.